friends, Deacon Amy here. Today we are talking about creation. Have you ever created anything? Sometimes it can be really fun to be creative. I brought some craft supplies here with me. We've got chenille stems, or we used to call these pipe cleaners. They come in a lot of different colors and you can bend them and twist them and make all kinds of fun things with these. What else? Ooh, we have a lot of beads. These little pony beads are so fun. You can put them on those craft, string, or craft stems or you can put them on strings or cords and make jewelry and neat decorations. I've got markers and crayons. We can create lots of fun pictures with these. And here's some stickers, butterflies, and dinosaurs. We can get creative with these too. And you know what else? It's not just craft supplies that we can get creative with. I've also got a bag of flour and a little baking cup. Have you ever baked anything or cooked anything? Well, when you use these things, you're being creative too. So today, friends, we're talking about creation in a bigger sense. We're talking about how God created the world. So I've got my Spark Story Bible here. I just love this one. And if we look at the very beginning of the Story Bible, it talks about creation. And it says, before God created the world, there was nothing at all except God. So friends, if you are going to create a beautiful bracelet or a fun picture or something, we need things to use to create those things with, don't we? We need some beads and some markers and some fun things to put together to create something. But the Bible tells us that God had nothing. Simply with God's words and God's spirit, everything came into being because God decided to make it so. So look at this beautiful picture behind me. This is something that we used in Vacation Bible School a few years ago, so I thought it would be a fun backdrop for today. It is a great image of some of God's creation. So friends, I would love for you to go outside sometime this week and look at creation. Maybe you'll see some trees or some beautiful mountains or some little squirrels or bunnies running around. See what you can find in creation that makes you smile. What are some of God's creations that you enjoy? And remember friends, God created you too. God created you just as you are. And God says that you are absolutely perfect. So I hope you have a wonderful week enjoying God's creation. And I would love to see some things that you create. Send me a picture so I can share it with our friends here. All right. Have a good week, friends.